Broome is a town with a river running through it and so we, we're making good use of our water space. It's, it's getting, the, getting the kids and the, and the adults out on the water and out, out in the open air, exercising, hey, messing about with boats on the river. There's nothing better. It's the family atmosphere and the inclusiveness that everybody can come out. We've got boats and coaches to fit every shape, size and ability. And we're all very willing to get them on the water and out having fun. Everybody's a big, happy family and we all like help each other. My name's Megan. I've been paddling with the club for probably 15 years. Um, ever since I was little, I have done every, pretty much a little bit of everything. A bit of slalom, a bit of white water. Um, now I mostly do coaching and admin. We've got a really, really big uh, need to have more storage space at the club. And so we need to expand the existing storage that we've got and replace two temporary containers with a brick built building um, so that it's accessible and so that we can uh, store more equipment for people. Um, that's a major thing. Wow, obviously you can see the containers full up. You can't get anything else in here. And then the one next door is the same. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not easy. It's not the best for your back or anything, trying to. <laughs> yeah, we could, if we could have more stacked, more like this, you're not having to bend down so much and just much, much easier. But uh, yeah, it would be great. We've grown and grown and grown. We've saved enough money and got enough funding to provide a purpose built really all singing and dancing clubhouse so we have got absolutely spot-on facilities for the um, community uh, as it's grown and as our uh, you know, as we've welcomed different people into the into the club and especially we've opened it opened the doors up to young people my joy and my pleasure is introducing young people to the club introducing novices to the club and we do uh, we do an awful lot of that we're very good at that Brilliant. triple jump and on the last jump I did, my toe went under my foot so then I went to hospital and I had these for six weeks. Hello, yeah it's just someone has foot pedals. <laughs> A sea launch is literally just a more fun way of getting into the water <laughs> instead of putting your boat in and getting in the boat there it's a way of either yeah, just getting in in a more fun way or accessing rivers that you otherwise wouldn't be able to get in. Okay.
Hi, I'm Jack, and I am doing the timekeeping and scores for this run of slalom. Warm one nine. Club's been here since 1976. Yeah, our youngest you members know. are eight, and we've our oldest member is 78. And they don't need to swim; we can cope with that. Okay, what we have here is the, um, the timing system for, for the racing um, and we have a, a man on the start and a man on the finish when um, the, the starter sets off the start lines and the clock here starts running and as he runs down the course Megan here talks to the judges who are, are judging on the gates and pick up which penalties if anybody gets penalties and clears and then we cross the finishing line I have a finished judge who presses a button and finishes the clock here. I coach the beginners at Froome Canoe Club, which is fab, love it. Um, and we have all sorts. We have children from the age of seven right up to so far. My eldest is a 64 year old. Uh, we play games, we come to competitions and I help out the beginners here as well. Mostly shouting encouragement, locking up a few tears getting everyone to the bottom of the course with a big smile on their face. I absolutely love my job. Yeah, she's yeah. yeah, Sue and Andy. down the rapids it's really good fun and it's um, I really enjoy the water it's just a really good experience I'm a BCU level 5 coach uh, in kayak and I love four, four coaching canoe um, and uh, I've done lots of work um, around the country but predominantly at the National Whitewater Centre where I coach uh, for whitewater safety and rescue and I also train and assess other coaches as well as river leaders and so on so um, uh, the, the kind of most recent change for me in terms of my own paddling is having my own children and getting a ch having a chance to introduce them to, to canoeing and kayaking as well so I just try and find opportunities to to get them out on the water when the conditions are right and the, the sun's shining and I know they're going to have a good time. There's something for everyone from slalom like we have here today um, to white water, flat water and anything somebody wants to try. We're trying to raise some money to extend our clubhouse. Our membership's been growing for a long time and with those members we need more boat and kit so we're trying to extend our kit store so we've got somewhere to keep it all. This is the official start for practice sessions and we take each individual boat, they have one run. Yeah, it's really friendly environment and you 
lots of fun. It's really good. <laughs> Yeah, we have to race against um, in the sprint. We have to race against each other. Oh, and I'll just wait straight in the middle of it. We're going to beat it at something. Great fun. And what are you doing today, Jeff? Um, competing at Langley Farm. We um, enjoy it. It just feels like you're free and you're not on a big ship in the water. You're in control and you can do what you want. What did you get out of noon, Toby? Fun. Fun? It's good for their mental state, it helps them with their schoolwork and, and as well as everything else because they, they have good relaxation time and they learn to compete and how to manage their stresses. Really enjoy it. I'm not competitive. At my age, I'm nearly 79 and at nearly 79, I'm not going to be doing anything very clever. I used to be much better than I was. Now I just plod down the course and have fun weekends. Hi, I'm Phil Lines, uh, judging at the slalom today. So what's your, what, what does that entail, Phil? Um, basically watching gates uh, in this section, 9 through to 12, um, making sure that we note down any, any clean gates, any touches, or any missed gates. And yeah, I'm part, part of the club, but also both of my children compete. My son Henry and my, my other son Jacob is, uh, is hoping for a good result today. It's a, it's a fabulous, um, fabulous community spirit. Um, the, 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 the club's really well equipped, but the coach is really, really giving. They just give so much to all of the children um, and, and adults as well. So uh, they got me into paddling last year and, um, and I go off on trips with, with the family and with the coaches. So it's, it's, a, it's just a really great club. Back. And we're at the uh, the finish point of the slalom race. And um, we just uh, check through the times as they finish, so that uh, we can then relay it back to the uh, control point. I think just everything they do for the youngsters. You know, my son's been in it from when he was about uh, nine, ten years old, and you know, it's just given him a fantastic uh, outlet uh, for enjoyment, and still paddles a lot now. Up, up, up! Up, up, up! Come on, sprint! Sprint, 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 sprint! Sprint up, come on! It was a very excited son I've got there, yeah. He's always excited, paddling. But he's enjoying the canoe? Oh, he's loving it. Yeah, he got promoted yesterday from Div 3 to Div 2, so he's well happy with himself. I've been coming here about four or five years, and the thing I love the most is just the, um, how social it is. Like a family, kind of. And we're, and we're all friends, and we support each other. Um, seeing your friends and just having a very nice time with the club. I'm eight and I've just grown up within the canoe club. I've, the first time I held and started paddling was um, when I was one, I think. Wow. So I've been paddling eight years. Started in 1974 with a guy oh. called Bob Hinton and it's just exploded to what it is now that is first langham slalom 1976 Good grief. and we've been here ever since and you're still enjoying it you're still, uh, still enjoying it these. and you're still standing on a bridge that the Froome canoe club rebuilt Fantastic. for the local farmer because yeah. without your members you ain't got a club get down there and learn and listen because if you look at the membership it's a great success and you'll end up don't want to say it but you'll end up paddling well